In this video we'll have a quick comparison between Tadella Phil which is known as Cialis, and Sildena Phil which is known as Viagra. The first thing to know, is that both Cialis and Viagra are in a class of drugs called phosphodiesterase type 5 inhibitors, that also includes Vardenafil and Avanafil. They are used for the treatment of erectile dysfunction, which is the inability to attain or maintain a penile erection. Both only work when a man is sexually aroused. And Cialis is also used for benign prostatic hypertrophy. Penile erection is caused by the engorgement of the penis with blood. Under normal conditions, sexual stimulation leads to the production and release of nitric oxide in the penis. Nitric oxide then activates the enzyme guanylate cyclase, which causes the production of cyclic guanosine monophosphate, CGMP. And it is the CGMP that is primarily responsible for the erection, by affecting the amount of blood that the blood vessels deliver, and remove from the penis. Cialis and Viagra inhibit an enzyme called phosphodiesterase 5 which destroys the CGMP. So Cialis and Viagra prevent the destruction of CGMP, and allows CGMP to accumulate and persist longer. And the longer CGMP persists, the more prolonged the engorgement of the penis. Viagra is available as 25, 50 and 100 mg tablets. And Cialis is available as 5 mg, 10 and 20 mg tablets. Cialis can be taken as needed or daily. The first way is to take it as needed, usually 10 mg at least 30 minutes before sexual activity. It may be taken with or without food, since food doesn't affect its absorption from the intestine. And the effects will last around 36 hours. The dosage may be increased to 20 mg if 10 mg is ineffective, or reduced to 5 mg if side effects are intolerable for one daily use without regard to sexual activity. The recommended dose is 2.5 to 5 mg daily. Timing of the daily dosage does not matter in people using it solely for erectile dysfunction. However, those with benign prostatic hypertrophy, are advised to take it at the same time each day. Do not take more than one dose a day, but your doctor may consider an increase in dosage from 2.5 to 5 mg if ineffective. And the dose may require adjustment for patients with reduced kidney or liver function. Viagra is taken as needed, at a dose of 50 mg, approximately one hour before sexual activity. The dose may be increased to 100 mg if 50 mg is ineffective, or decreased to 25 mg if side effects are intolerable. Viagra should only be taken once a day, even though the effects last around 4 to 5 hours. So to recap, Cialis lasts for around 36 hours, compared with only 4 to 5 hours for Viagra. And food doesn't affect the activity of Cialis, whereas food may decrease the effectiveness of Viagra. Common side effects of Cialis and Viagra that are similar include, flushing, redness or warmth of the face neck or chest, headaches and dizziness, stomach pain or upset, flu-like symptoms, such as stuffy nose, sneezing, or sore throat, memory problems, muscle or back pain, blurred vision and changes in color vision, such as an inability to differentiate between the colors green and blue. They may also cause diarrhea, nausea, low blood pressure, abnormal ejaculation, and prolonged erections loss of hearing, and ringing in the ears. If you are taking Viagra or Cialis and you have nausea, dizziness or chest pain during sex, seek medical help immediately, as you may have a life-threatening condition. And also seek medical attention if erection is present longer than 6 hours. Practice safe sex, as drug has no effect on disease transmission. Additional sexual stimulation is often required after drug is taken, to enhance erectile response. And finally, try to determine the cause of erectile dysfunction. Is it psychologic? Organic or drug induced? That's all for this video. Subscribe and click on the bell icon for more animated medical videos like this one.